In information theory, Shannon's source coding theorem or noiseless coding theorem establishes the limits to possible data compression, and the operational meaning of the Shannon entropy. The source coding theorem shows that in the limit, as the length of a stream of independent and identically distributed random variable i, i, d, data tends to infinity, it is impossible to compress the data such that the code rate average number of bits per symbol is less than the Shannon entropy of the source, without it being virtually certain that information will be lost. However it is possible to get the code rate arbitrarily close to the Shannon entropy, with negligible probability of loss. The source coding theorem for symbol codes places an upper and a lower bound on the minimal possible expected length of codewords as a function of the entropy of the input word which is viewed as a random variable and of the size of the target alphabet. Topic. Statements Source coding is a mapping from a sequence of symbols from an information source to a sequence of alphabet symbols usually bits such that the source symbols can be exactly recovered from the binary bits lossless source coding or recovered within some distortion lossy source coding. This is the concept behind data compression. Topic. Source coding theorem In information theory, the source coding theorem Shannon 1948 informally states that McKay 2003, p.g. 81 cover 2006, chapter 5 N i i d random variables each with entropy h x can be compressed into more than n h x bits with negligible risk of information loss as n infinity. But conversely, if they are compressed into fewer than n h x bits, it is virtually certain that information will be lost. Topic: <laughs> Source coding theorem for symbol codes. Let σ1, σ2 denote two finite alphabets and let σ1 and σ2 denote the set of all finite words from those alphabets respectively. Suppose that x is a random variable taking values in σ1 and let f be a uniquely decodable code from σ1 to σ2 where, σ2, equals a. Let s denote the random variable given by the length of codeword f x. If f is optimal in the sense that it has the minimal expected word length for x, then Shannon 1948 h x log 2 a esh x log 2 a plus 1 display style frac h x log underscore 2 a leq math b e s. Topic proof source coding theorem. Given x as an i, i, d, source, its time series 10 1 x n as i, i, d, with entropy h x in the discrete valued case and differential entropy in the continuous valued case. The source coding theorem states that for any epsilon greater than zero, i.e. for any rate h x plus epsilon larger than the entropy of the source, there is large enough n and an encoder that takes n i, i, d, repetition of the source, x1, n, and maps it to n h x plus epsilon, binary bits such that the source symbols x1, n are recoverable from the binary bits with probability at least 1 minus epsilon. Proof of achievability. Fix some epsilon greater than zero, and let p x 1 x n equals p r x 1 equals x 1 x n equals x n display style p x underscore 1 l dots x underscore n equals p r left x underscore 1 equals x underscore 1 c d o t s x underscore n equals x underscore n right 
The typical set, A epsilon n, is defined as follows, A n epsilon equals x1, xn, minus 1 n log p x1, xn, minus hn x, epsilon, display style A underscore n caret bar epsilon equals left x underscore 1 c d o t s x underscore n left frac 1 n log p x underscore 1 c d o t s x underscore n h underscore N x right. The asymptotic equipartition property AEP shows that for large enough n, the probability that a sequence generated by the source lies in the typical set, A epsilon n, as defined approaches 1. In particular, for sufficiently large n p x 1 x 2 x n element of a n epsilon display style p x underscore 1 x underscore 2 c d o t s x underscore n in a underscore n caret far epsilon can be made arbitrarily close to 1 and specifically greater than 1 minus epsilon Display style one far epsilon C A E P for a proof. The definition of typical sets implies that those sequences that lie in the typical set satisfy two minus N H X plus epsilon P X one x n two minus n h x minus epsilon display style two caret n h x plus bar epsilon l e q p left x underscore one c d o t s x underscore n right l e q two caret n h x bar epsilon note that the probability of a sequence x one x two x n Display style x underscore one x underscore two c d o t s x underscore n being drawn from a epsilon n is greater than one minus epsilon a n epsilon two n h x plus epsilon Display style left underscore n caret var epsilon right l e q two caret n h x plus var epsilon, which follows from the left hand side lower bound for p x one x two x n Display style p x underscore one x underscore two c d o t s x underscore n a n epsilon one minus epsilon two n h x minus epsilon Display style left underscore n caret var epsilon right geq one var epsilon two caret n h x var epsilon, which follows from upper bound for p x one x two x n display style p x underscore 1 x underscore 2 c d o t s x underscore n and the lower bound on the total probability of the whole set a epsilon n since a n epsilon 2 n h x plus epsilon n 
H X plus epsilon display style left underscore n caret var epsilon right l e q two caret n h x plus var epsilon n h x plus var epsilon bits are enough to point to any string in this set. The encoding algorithm, the encoder checks if the input sequence lies within the typical set, if yes, it outputs the index of the input sequence within the typical set, if not, the encoder outputs an arbitrary n h x plus epsilon digit number. As long as the input sequence lies within the typical set with probability at least 1 minus epsilon, the encoder doesn't make any error. So, the probability of error of the encoder is bounded above by epsilon. Proof of converse. The converse is proved by showing that any set of size smaller than a epsilon n in the sense of exponent would cover a set of probability bounded away from 1. Topic. Proof, source coding theorem for symbol codes. For one i n let c denote the word length of each possible she. Define q i equals e minus s i c. Display style q underscore i equals a caret s underscore i c, where c is chosen so that q one plus plus qn equals 1. Then h x equals minus i equals 1 n p i log 2 p i minus i equals 1 n p i log 2 q i equals minus i equals 1 n p i log 2 Minus S I plus I equals one N P I log two C equals minus I equals one N P I log two a minus S I plus log two C minus I equals one N Minus S I P I log two a E S log two a display style begin aligned H X and equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N P underscore I log underscore two P underscore I and L E Q sum underscore I equals one carrot N P underscore I log underscore two Q underscore I and equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N P underscore I log underscore two a carrot S under underscore I plus sum underscore I equals one carrot N P underscore I log underscore two C and equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N P underscore I log underscore two a carrot S underscore I plus log underscore two C and L E Q sum underscore I equals one carrot N S underscore I P underscore I log underscore two and L E Q math B E S log 
underscore two a end aligned where the second line follows from Gibbs's inequality and the fifth line follows from Kraft's inequality. C equals I equals one N A minus S I one display style C equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N A carrot S underscore I L E Q one so log C zero. For the second inequality, we may set s i equals minus log a p i display style s underscore i equals l c e i l log underscore a p underscore i r seal so that minus log a p i s i minus log a p i plus one display style log underscore a p underscore i l e q s underscore i and so a minus s i p i display style a caret s underscore i l e q p underscore i and a minus s I P I equals one display style sum a carrot s underscore i l e q sum p underscore i equals one and so by Kraft's inequality there exists a prefix-free code having those word lengths. Thus the minimal s satisfies e s equals p i s i p i minus log a p i plus one equals minus p i log two p i log two a plus 1 equals h x log 2 a plus 1 display style begin aligned math b e s and equals sum p underscore i s underscore i and topic extension to non-stationary independent sources Topic fixed rate lossless source coding for discrete time non stationary independent sources define typical set A epsilon n as A n epsilon equals x1 n minus 1 n log p x1 x n minus h n x epsilon display style A underscore n caret var epsilon equals left x underscore 1 caret n left frac 1 n log p left x underscore 1 c d o t S x underscore n right overline h underscore n x right then for given delta greater than zero for n large enough p r epsilon n greater than one minus delta. Now we just encode the sequences in the typical set, and usual methods in source coding show that the cardinality of this set is smaller than two n h n x plus epsilon display style 2 caret n overline h underscore n x plus var epsilon thus on an average h n x plus epsilon bits suffice for encoding with probability greater than 1 minus delta where epsilon and delta can be made arbitrarily small by making n larger topic See also Channel coding Noisy channel coding theorem Error exponent Asymptotic equipartition property AEP 